They're 10, 7 and 2 when scoring first. Excuse me, that's 10, 3 and 2 when scoring first. That's despite losing last night. And Notre Dame strikes first tonight. Bavaro again with his third goal of the season, series, excuse me. Right off the faceoff. There was a lot of traffic in front of the net. I don't think Barczewski got a good look at the puck here. Let's see. Yeah, I think Dylan Duke might have been obstructing his contact, which you're not intentionally trying to do, but it ends up happening. So with that, Michigan will find itself up a man for the next two minutes. Wolverines win the draw. They're 0 for 1 on the power play today. 3 for 4 so far in the series. They went 3 for 3. Yesterday, it's tipped in front. Casey to Hughes. Michigan strikes early in the power play. We're tied at 1, Jonah. It's a great tip by TJ Hughes out in front, and that's the puck luck that you need to get back in this game if you're Michigan. And this is exactly what you don't need if you're Notre Dame. We talked about those unforced errors, these penalties, giving this power play an opportunity. Great hand-eye coordination here by Hughes. Hits it out of the air. Notre Dame might want to look at this for a pass to Brindley, tipped into the Notre Dame zone. Irish try a long breakout pass. It doesn't work. Seamus Casey picks it up for Michigan. Over to Brindley. Quick cut across. The play, the puck in front. Hughes finishes for Michigan. Chaos in front. And TJ Hughes cuts in to give the Wolverines a lead with nine seconds to go in the period. There are those rebounds I just mentioned. Official, great job stopping McGordy on this first shy. TJ Hughes crashes the net wide open. Bischel had to come out to stop Rucker with so much speed. And the puck sitting in the crease, TJ crashing, great goal. And this is credit to the entire line. The first line with TJ Hughes substituted for. Knubel recovers the puck, bumps it low into the corner. The Wolverines try for the clear. Instead, it's a pass out to the point. Seedham at the Big Ten logo. Low to Moynihan. And lower to Slagert. Back to Moynihan in the corner. Cross ice pass. Slagert finishes on the cross. Notre Dame ties it at two. Great find with that cross crease pass right on the doorstep for Landon Slager. And you see what's tough about that situation, Slager comes from the corner. The defenseman's not looking at him because he's so far out of the play. He comes back into the play. Great vision by Moynihan to see that, and great finish by Landon. Yeah, they could have put it back in the Notre Dame zone. Duke wins the draw for Michigan. Drop to his brother, Tyler, who moves it up to Casey on the near side boards. Casey in a tussle for the puck. A few quick moves, and Loses an edge. It'll be a two on one. Notre Dame racing down, dropped out. Master Domenico finishes for the Irish. We'll have another change in the lead. Notre Dame three, Michigan two. Great job by Moynihan to kind of fly high coming into that zone, get that loose puck. See this two on one, good stop on the pass, and Moynihan, like I said, trailing behind. It's hard to get to that puck that goes forward when you're coming back if you're the defenseman. See, Nazar tries to adjust, but Moynihan coming. From slash student you hello to the trailer. Working hard to bring us tonight's playoff hockey game. Notre Dame up a goal over Michigan, an opportunity in front. Duke finishes on the rebound. The Wolverines respond. We're tied at three. When you're playing against an outstanding goaltender like Ryan Bischel, these are the types of goals you need to get to go your way. When he's upset with Wisconsin yesterday, three to one, but now with a Wisconsin lead, it's been an exciting start to the Big Ten playoffs. Tyler Duke, an opportunity in front. Brindley finds the cross. Michigan retakes the lead.
great patience displayed by Tyler Duke there. Walks around the defender. Bischel comes really far out of the net, trying to take away that shot opportunity here. Freezes in with the shot fake. Tyler Duke does and passes it right over to Brindley for the cross crease backdoor goal. Excellent job by Brindley. There you can see Carter Slager. He's on the left wing. It's not his man to cover, but he's diving in, trying to pick up the stick, but a step or two behind. Un 